everybody, it's Sam here. Thank you for watching today. So if you're following my Facebook page, you would have seen that I went away to the Creative Craft Show in Birmingham at the NEC over the weekend. We try and do it every year, but obviously the last two years it's been cancelled due to COVID. But I went with my mum this year and we just had such a good time. We also incorporate some shopping as well as lots of food and then the show. So lots of you said you can't wait to see my what did I get. So this is what did I get from the NEC. So I'm going to try. I've tried to group it all together. So I think we'll start off with kind of like the essentials. So I went to... Oh gosh, I'm going to try and remember everywhere now. So this was from Every Cross a Pound, which I've purchased from lots of time online, but I haven't done so as much now purely because their postage increased. So when I saw them at the store, I thought, or at the show, I thought, oh, I'll get some bits and pieces. So the Hook and Loop, you see me use the 20 mil. This is the ones that I always use, the Dot and Dab range. So they were a pound each. So I picked up those two and the silicone foam tape. I love this stuff when I'm making shaker cards. And just if you want to add dimension and you don't want you almost want it to be invisible. It looks like it's floating because this is all clear. There's three meters in each. So I've got three rolls there. And I also picked up some of their foam tapes. You get five meters and it was a pound. I always usually buy it from the pound shop and stuff. But what I find is the pound shop ones are great because you have the circle like this the foam tape and then you have the squares on the bottom. But I have so many squares. Literally, I have probably a whole drawer full of them. I really just need these. I use the squares as well, but it's the, the foam tape when it's on its own. It's actually better. So to see five metres was good. So I've picked up those two. So that was everything from Every Crafts a Pound. Then I can't remember which store this was. It was the pretty much the first one as you walked in. It was kind of straight ahead. It was all a bit of a mixed bag, to be honest, um, but everything here was 25p each. I'll just move it up a bit now. I've got my cup of tea here because I've got so much around me. I thought I'd do this. And it always takes a while because um, I end up talking too much. But these were 25p each. And I just thought for that price, it's good to kind of get them. Even if you're not going to use them all now, you've got them for obviously next year. And it's not just, although they were Christmas, it says here crafts for Christmas, you can use these for other things. So like these stars, for example, are going to look lovely on birthday, you know, gift boxes and so on. Um, and these are all pegs here. I haven't actually opened them up, so let's have a little look. So they did do five for a pound. But again, if you've been following me for a long time, when I make my gift boxes and bags, sometimes when I do little favours, how cute are those? Little white pegs with the candy cane. I think they're gorgeous for 25p so I'm literally going to take them all off and they will be added with all my other kind of festive pegs and things like that so yeah you get four eight on a or eight in a pack so that was them to be honest there was a lot in there that wasn't my style so that's why I've got quite a lot of those because I thought they're just going to work year after year and they're going to be handy when I do like my little table favors for my friends and things like that so I got one, two, three bags of the stars. Let's have a little look. So these are just smaller pegs. You get five. So that's 10, 20, 30 of these I got for 75. Yeah, 75p. But again, very, very cute. Really sweet. And they're nice, like little wooden. It's almost like um, balsa wood, I think, on the back there. But just nice little embellishments. And you could also, I'll take one off because I won't need all of them. But I imagine, yeah. You've just got a nice little star embellishment there that you can use. Then I saw these. So again, it doesn't tell you what they are. Um, yeah, no, there's nothing on the back there. They are little iridescent or holographic. It's the same, you know, that rainbow colour. And they're little like icicles. But I thought these are going to be lovely for 3D makes when I do my little like Christmas houses and advent calendars and things like that. You could have these all hanging along the top but they're just nice as little embellishments maybe on gift tags and things like that but you get two four six you get eight in a pack aren't they really pretty though so i've got one two three four five six including this one i think i was really just trying to make up five for a pound <laughs> but i just thought again i'm going to put these in my little clear drawers which i have in my room and um you know, they're just going to be nice little embellishments to use. So I'll take the rest of them out. They only had one of these. We kind of raided the 
baskets at the very beginning because we got there when it opened then we went back right at the end because they were like down to the, the last kind of baskets because they had loads stacked on top of each other but i could only see this one others you know because i would have got more and not so many of those maybe but they're just little silver and gold stars they're very very light but again just nice little embellishments i'll probably cut the strings off and just use them on cards and things like that i thought they were pretty and then i got these <laughs> now these are for my christmas wreath i won't be using all of them but i'm doing a very retro kitsch style christmas this year i've totally changed all my colors and i'm doing turquoise and pinks and all oh, rainbow colors really but i just wanted a few of these not all of them and i'm probably not going to use the brown bears at all you've got to kind of trust the process with these they remind me of when i was a child I remember these and they also remind me of the Sylvanian families. It's that same kind of um, finish on them. So, yeah, these aren't my regular kind of <laughs> thing that I would go go for. But I just want a couple of them. It's going to be a very full reef. I might film myself making it and then maybe just pop a high speed version of you just seeing me put it together. It's not a tutorial or anything. It's just some of my personal crafting that I'm doing. But just a few of them mixed in amongst all of the other retro Christmas ornaments I've got. I thought would look quite nice. But I won't be using the brown because I'm not having any brown at Christmas this year. But these are still cute for maybe any baby cards I might make or baby gift bags, gift tags. Because they're flat, they've cut them in half. So you could actually probably stick two together. Um, that'd look quite good on a gift tag maybe. But I just thought they're going to be handy more for those kind of, you know, baby kind of cards or any projects that you never know you just never know when these things someone might say I've got someone who loves bears and I'll be like hang on a minute yeah I've got bears we can do something so you get three different colors there but I thought they were quite unusual because there's only you know the half you know they've been sliced so yeah tons of them there they're going to last me ages like I said I only need a few of the pink and the blue ones but for 25p I got them so I'm just going to move all this out of the way then I've got these three embossing powders here. So I've got this lovely bright yellow, bright orange, and this like lime, very bright green colour there. These are all Phil Martin embossing powders. Now they were originally 375. There's another sticker I can just see through it underneath. Then they were 325, 250, and then on the day they were a pound each. Now I know they're not colours that I'm necessarily going to use now. At this price, I thought actually those two perfect for Halloween. And on their own, they're just all lovely spring, summer colours. The yellows, you know, fantastic for the centre of flowers and just, yeah, just normal heat embossing, whatever you want to do with these. But for that price, Cosmic Shimmer, fantastic company. So, you know, it's good quality. I can take all this off in a minute. Again, I'm not one for stickers. I have to remove all of this. It will just, that, you know, does drive me nuts. <laughs> but yeah, they were a pound and there was loads of them. I don't think anybody was going for these colours at all. But I like bright things and I try to think ahead and think, OK, maybe not so much now, but certainly, you know, into the summer and Halloween. Fantastic greens and uh, oranges there to use. Next, I picked up this. Now, this was, again, the, probably the last thing I purchased. This was about quarter to five. The show was um, all finishing at five o'clock and this was being sold as fabric paper. It's just a very, very thin, oh, he did tell me the, the name of it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to edit in here. There'll be a little pop-up which will say the name of the seller or the, the, the kind of the store that I went to. But the idea I've had for this, because I initially I just thought it was nice kind of wrapping paper in a way. You know, you could put some soaps and all sorts in there and then kind of scrunch it up and finish it with a nice bow. But the guy was speaking to me and he said, oh, no, it's, it's a you know fabric paper. So what I thought I'm going to do with this is make some gift boxes and cut the lid aperture out and I'm going to fill it with this. It's almost as if it was, you know, a shaker card element or putting some acetate in place. I'm going to use this and I'm only going to need a small piece each time because the gift box is probably going to be a six by six, something like that. Or even if I do go a bit bigger. But I just thought how lovely this was my favorite out of them all. I must admit that wasn't. I wasn't completely blown away with the designs, just wasn't, again, really my style. But this one I thought was very sweet. And it also reminded me of my Paper Craft Society box. So I will probably end up using some of the papers and stuff from that and make a gift box because the that lovely lime rich green colour here is the same as what's in my pad. And then obviously I've got the gingerbread, um, you know, dies and I've got the the gingerbread cookie cutter. So I could even, because I am going to make some cookies using the cookie cutter, get my words out, 
this could be quite nice put them in the cellophane bag and then wrap them with this as well so i'm going to play around with it i'm going to look up online as well um fabric paper just see what other things you know they show that you can do with them and on this side so i'm not sure which i mean that's the side that's textured that i can feel the glitter there None, nothing shedding you know it's all um, encapsulated i guess in in this material but this side's very smooth so i'm not sure which you would use for what i'm doing it for i would probably use this side but i'm going to look up a bit more about it and um and see if there are any kind of tips or tricks i'd be intrigued to see if you can melt this at all what it's like if heat's applied to it because it is a plastic um so we will see but yeah i saw it and i thought i got two no i got one meter he was selling it by the half and the meter so i just picked up one for now and then he said that it could be requested online i just have to drop him an email or something so i'm going to see how i get on with that but like i said i would have popped up the name of the store and if any of you have got this or you've used fabric paper please let me know in the comments because it's something brand new to me so i'd like to know a little bit more about it next i picked up these two so i've got the new latest distress oxide color so this is villainous potion so i'm not too worried that it's got that halloween name spooky name and the color you know it's a it's a nice purple for me so i will use that throughout but i'm going to see what that looks like against the others and i'm going to check their swatch to see the kind of order because they they have them listed on the ranger website all of the the colors and um and just see which you know nice blends work with this i know christina werner i always get her surname Werner. i'm sure it is on youtube she does some really good blend kind of swatches different um you know distress oxides together so i'm going to see if she's done one for this um villainous potion so i've got that one and then i picked up the tri blends i'm really getting into using these so much so that i've actually this is the natural tones i'd run out of two from this set mainly from when i was doing the pop-up bouquet launch i used a lot in the coloring the flowers and you don't get refills for these so when I saw them for $7.99, which is cheap, they're usually $9.99 a set. So I thought for that price, I'm going to grab. I'm probably thinking about it should have maybe, although I don't know how low I am on some of the other sets, but it would have been good to have got a few more at that price, but just stopped up on those ones. Next, I've got lots of stamps to show you. So there was a stall there which had just so much. I mean, we, we were probably there for a good hour rummaging through but it was just endless and they had stamps upon stamps, but they were all hooked over each other. She had to lift things up and you really had to search for things. But I came across a lot of the personal expressions stamps and these are the ones that stood out to me the most. There were a few more as well, but I just thought I've got to kind of, you know, rein it in a little. So we've got this one here. I wonder if they've got the names of them in case anybody does want to look for them. This one's called a Christmas Frog Smile. And there is a code there as well. So if you want to pause, we'll write that down. So this one is very sweet i love the big bauble there really nice to color and you've got the frog that hugs it and then it says you make my heart leap smile you've got another one there so that one can be used all year round just leapt in to wish you a hoppy christmas then i've got this one here so christmas a time for family friends and generosity of spirit and then it's literally just got every single, it was this one more that I wanted. It's just got everything you kind of relate to Christmas, just the words. And I just thought that looked really nice stamped in, you know, embossing powder or just stamped a few times, maybe on a scrapbook layout and just to create your own background. I just thought it was a nice one there. And then this one here, I loved the tree. I love this little sprig and the angel. You got some more holly there and then it says wishing you the best christmas ever and i don't think i've got a sentiment that you know says that but again it was that tree i thought these would be really nice with glitter on them or with embellishments actual like uh, little enamel dots or your nouveau drops squeezed in you know for the baubles there really easy to color so i'm going to hopefully even within this christmas series incorporate these two <laughs> plus some others that I've got to show you. But I'm going to try and use them on my 3D makes so on the top of gift boxes and things like that, just so you can, you know, get some inspiration on alternative ways to use stamps. I think a lot of us, we think you just maybe use them on a card or maybe a gift tag, but you can use them on your 3D makes as well. So that's those three. Then I got these two from Woodware. I think these are fantastic. So they were 5 50 each. This one here is called Handcrafted by... 
And if I bring it up, you can see here. So you've got Queen of Stamping, and then it says Note. All smears, blobs, smudges, and, and imperfections sorry, were intentionally added for the handmade look. I love that. I'm going to be stamping that on a lot of my cards. Yes, it's another new stamp. And yes, of course, I needed it. That's a good one. I think if you've got other crafting friends and you send each other cards, this isn't just a card. It's a hug in an envelope. And that's a nice one to stamp on the, you know, the outside of the, the card um, on the actual envelope. Hand stamp with love from me to you. I want, I need, I must have. I loved making this beautiful card for you. I hope it makes you smile for weeks. And then this here is a, a little bit like, a, a, I guess, a poem. There are three, all of these are individual. These are three individual ones, so you don't have to have it all together. But it says, I'm a rubber stamper. I could craft all night and day. I've ink pads, pens and punches and too many stamps to say. Then you've got, I'm always in a craft shop because I want the latest thing. There's always something glittery. Just love a bit of bling. And then finally, I love to give a handmade card. A, I make all sorts of kinds. Adding ribbon, brads and buttons, it's made with you in mind. It's perfect for us. I think it's fantastic. Wanted to show off my new stamp. Warning, glitter enclosed, be prepared for sparkle. And then 100% original and handmade with care just for you. Love that one. I was so pleased when I saw that. And then this one here, <laughs> we, we actually laughed out loud. And then two other ladies heard us laughing. They saw it and then they brought it as well. So we're all holding this stamp set. We're all chuckling. And the one that done it, and I don't want to offend anybody. It's, this is by no means, you know, um, to offend anybody. But it was this one here. And it says, if the three wise men had been women, they would have asked for directions, delivered the baby and brought sensible gifts. <laughs> it still makes me smile now. I think it's brilliant. You've also got what happens under the mistletoe stays under the mistletoe. Uh, don't get your tinsel in a twist. It's only Christmas. Best Christmas is a white one. Christmas is not Christmas without sprouts. Dear Santa, I've been naughty, but it was worth it. Have a jolly Christmas and ho, 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 it's Christmas. Fantastic. I just love them. And it was a shame because I didn't see Hobby House there, who I purchased the Sprouts stamp set from last year. So again, if you've been following me for a while, you would have seen me share that one when I went a couple of years back and also the cards that I used that with. But this reminded me of her kind of style and her humour. So I'm glad I got these two and you're going to see those again feature in this Christmas series. And then the second one I went to, as soon as we went in, we kind of got um, sidetracked with where I brought all of this very cheap stuff. And then I was like, we have to go to cardio. I've got to go to cardio, need to get my stamps fixed and uh, my acrylic blocks that I wanted to get. So these are all the acrylic blocks. So again, I haven't taken a lot of this out. I've waited until I've done this video, but I've wanted these ones in particular ever since I watched them do the demos, whenever I see them on TV demoing. And when I'm doing my live craft alongs and I'm doing stamping, if you've seen me, I've got stamps all over the place. Now these are great because, and I'll use these as an example, so the two stamp sets I got, I'll show you them quickly before I show these bits. So I've got this one here, which I imagine that's the name for this set. So Christmas Companions. They had a beautiful card. It was stunning with this snowman and then all of these looking up. Now, if you've watched my magical tutorial, I'll link it up here. Those um, silhouette cards are all inspired by this company, Cardio. They are fantastic. So I encourage you to go follow them, go check them out. They just do beautiful just amazing cards they really really are lovely but when they stamp them there's a lot of stamping involved so you can see all of these here and then there's these small ones as well so rather than because they don't use a stamping platform either they just stamp all by hand I'll take all this out now so with these when she's working i mean she i was watching her do the demos apologies i forgot her name but I was watching her do the demos and she just had to the left of her, she had hundreds and hundreds of stamps all laid out. But the idea is it just makes it easy for you, but you can, you know, stick one or two, depending on what fits. I mean, there's all different sizes, but you can have one either end. And it just means you can just flip it over, pop it in the inks and then leave it on the side and you it's not going to get, you know, any mess anywhere. I've got a bigger one here, so I can pop that one. Um, these are all little Christmas vintage style um christmas lights and they were i loved the way that they had them all above the snowman here so that's one of the cards that i'm going to try and recreate but 
just when I'm you know making samples for TV and I've just got a lot going on around me and I go back to things I change my mind you know having them all on there so I can just you know decide what I want you know when I want to use it I've got another one here because I knew these are the ones I was going to be using the most so again you know I can have them all laid out ready to go and it's just I just wanted them I just wanted them okay some of you might be watching this thinking well you know you can just do that with your normal ones yes you can but i wanted these plus they're really good they're completely clear this is the other thing i should mention because it's one of the other great things about them where my camera is i don't know where i'm looking but can you see it's completely clear so when you're looking over this so if i put the stamp back on again you can see exactly where you're stamping it um and i know again you can do that with all these but yeah another little thing so and then there's that one for the real tiny ones. And that's what they're known for as well, is all the detail, these little stamps that just really finish off your projects. But things like those small ones get lost on my bigger blocks like this. So to have them on things like this is just so easy. And then these were the other ones. Now I'm going to replace some of my other ones. I think I'm going to give them to mum actually because she doesn't stamp as much as me. But I wanted ones that have a nicer grip here. And you can see they're just so much nicer. Um, they've got more of a deeper wedge there, whereas some of the other ones I've got, they're actually a little bit, they're just uncomfortable, they feel quite sharp. So I've got that one, this one, which is a similar size to what I've got. Like I said, I'm going to be swapping them over. And I actually don't want the ones with grids. I just like mine completely clear because I've got ones with all the grid lines and actually they throw me off. So this here is just, you know, it is just lovely and clear, easy for me to work with. And then I've got the large one as well for those bigger sentiments, some of my bigger stamps. And you will always go to use blocks um, when you want to do other techniques as well. So the stamping platform is perfect and I use it a lot. But sometimes I will still go back to my blocks for when I'm doing more technique based stuff. And then this one was actually by Woodware, but they were selling it. And this is a long, thin one. This one's ever so slightly different. But it's just really smooth, very, very comfortable to hold. There's still enough grip, but it was, it was a nice, long, thin one for those long sentiments that I've got. So, yeah, I just wanted to kind of update my acrylic blocks. And, um, yeah, look out for pop all those there. a tutorial. Won't just be using this stamp set. I'm going to be using some other ones. I might do, do this um, during Facebook Live, actually, as well, festival. But they're just lovely, really pretty images. So although you've got the snowman here, you've got all of these images which can be used for a spring card. But the demos that they done was all of these all around the snowman and then they had the lights and then they had a beautiful Merry Christmas sentiment. But I've got lots of sentiments, so I didn't bother getting that one. Um, but it just looked really nice and I just want to recreate a few. And again, I'm going to try and use those more on gift bags and boxes because I've already made lots and lots of cards. And I've got tons of cards already filmed that I need to edit for this current series that I'm working through. And then I've got these. So Cardio and this here were like my splurges so first of all it was this one i got him right at the end of the day i wanted to check that i you know there wasn't anything else i just fell in love with him i think he's absolutely wonderful now the pink ink design ladies are just incredibly talented um these are all hand drawn and they're just amazing and they're so big and i just thought he was wonderful he'd also work really nicely on my pop-up cards that i've got i love the footprints here but again, I just see them on the top of a gift box or on the side of a gift bag. I think it's going to look wonderful. And I just love that you get that inspiration on the front there on how he looks coloured. But I just love that he's not got his hat on. I think it's just so cute. Just be claws. And then as I was paying, they had a reduced kind of box and they had this one in. And I remember seeing the posh bird when they released this quite a while ago now. And I thought, I saw it then. I thought, Do you know, what? I'm going to get her as well. She's just, I love this big image. And again, I imagine her kind of popping out of one of my cards or the wiper card. You imagine her head popping out the top. So I think they're going to work really, really well with my my dies. And that's what I plan to use some of these. And then, I, you know, these kind of feathers here. Keep your head up. Posh bird. Postridge. They're going to be great for some of my girlfriends that I can send these to. So I've got those two. And then last few bits. These were very cheap. I think these were 25p. They were in one of the bins. Might have actually been the same 
I'm thinking that was the same store where we got these. But I do have a little bit of the Love Santa collection left, only a very small amount. But these are just going to be nice for when I do like the scraps videos and they're just cute little toppers. They're nice for gift tags and stuff. And I love that retro vintage Christmas vibe. So I've got two of those. And then in another store, they had this one, which my mum actually saw first. Now I had this one and I used it a couple of years ago now. And it was one of my favourites. So I've got it again and it was 2 99 for the 12 by 12. So I thought for that price, I'll get one again because there's some really nice background colours here and this one's really nice as well. And I think I've still got, again, a few of the toppers and bits and pieces that match that. So I'm going to pull those out, things like this. I'm, I know there was a topper pad, so I'm going to have a little look. And then the very last thing from the show, because I've got some other things to share as well, and I actually am waiting on an order. It might come, so it may get edited in towards the end. This is what my Christmas crackers are going to be made of this year. So I'm making six crackers for the table. Like I said, I'm changing my whole um, kind of colour scheme. So it's going to be hot pink and silver. I can't wait. Sounds awful. Some of you have probably gone, oh no, Sam, but I love it. So I saw this and it's the silver Lametta card. Suitable for die cutting, you get three A4 sheets, 220 GSL. So I will do a tutorial making the crackers, but I said to mum, I have to make sure I get my cutting and my scoring bang on. So I'll be practising because I want to make a new kind of cracker design. And these will probably be crackers that are more decorative, not to pull. I'm going to have separate ones that people can pull. These ones they can take home as just a nice gift. And this is going to go into my kind of little tub that I've got of what I'm working through. So, yeah, it's, it's kind of got a different kind of feel to it. It almost feels a little bit plasticky, but it is paper. But hopefully it's going to score well. And that's going to be the whole cracker. I'm going to literally... There won't be any wastage, you know, from this, only the little bits that you cut out. So I've got that one and then I picked up. I mean, now, this is a bit of a shed one, but I just loved that it had like the rainbow going through it. If you can see there. Stunning. Absolutely gorgeous. But I thought I'd probably use this more with die cutting because it does shed. I'm not going to use this as like a whole piece to, you know, like for a gift bag or something because yeah there's nothing worse than loads of glitter everywhere but you get five for a pound so i've got the 10 there and then i've got this one which again was really unusual something i've not had before sorry for the rustling one two three but look at that it's like a disco ball oh wait for my christmas bauble tutorial <laughs> this is what i'm going to use it's just so cool oh so i got those ones there and then just another set so that was again six sheets yeah one two three so i'm going to put them all with all my other christmas stuff to use and um yeah get craft and i can't wait to use that product i also picked up the glamour dust which is what they use on the cards in the cardio you know booth where i got all the these from and stuff so i picked up that and then this was 50p there was them um, again it was from that one where all that stuff is where i've got the bears and stuff these were 50p punches they had loads of punches but you can't go wrong with things like this your simple shapes the stars are going to be lovely just when you want to add a quick few you know that'd be the kind of thing i would punch using that glitter card you know and then finish it off on you know whatever you're making so I thought, yeah, I'll grab that one for 50p. So that's everything from the show. I also went into Tiger and I picked up this ribbon, which I just thought was beautiful. So I might use this one on my wreath. And it's just nice, again, for big bows on your gift bags and boxes. Very, very soft. Really nice one. Might need to just flatten that piece there. But a really lovely design. And you get three metres and it's four centimetres wide. So it's a nice thick one. That looked lovely as handles actually on a gift bag. So I picked up that and then while I was there at the cash desk, I saw this and it reminded me of the movie Big, which I still enjoy. Hang on a minute, let me take this off. And I know Charlie is going to absolutely love this. So look, you could do one at a time. <laughs> so you're going to see that I'm going to be having this as my um, my new pen on my desk now. So you might see it in some of my tutorials or when I'm on my live. Oh, and I've 
I wondered where that had gone. I've got it. It just, I think it just clips in. Oh no, maybe it's broke. <gasps> oh no, I just didn't realise. I've got it though, because I found it and I wondered what it had come from. Now I know. I'll get that stuck on. So, but isn't it cool? They had a Santa one as well. And they were, I can't remember the price. I want to say a pound. They weren't much at all. So if you've got anyone you know who likes this kind of thing, or you just like a fun pen at your desk. <laughs> and then this one here is completely influenced by Lindsay, the frugal crafter. Her first kind of impression was enough for me because she was like, you know, she thought they were good for um, as a gift for a beginner, if you were a card maker. And I was like, well, that's me. You know, I don't need to worry too much about the light fast and using them for creating beautiful big pictures and illustrations and things like that. So for me, I was just blown away by the packaging as she was as well. Absolutely stunning. Look at these. They are gorgeous. This was a free gift, which is your pencil extender. Um, but I'll just show you one here as an example. Oh, aren't they just absolutely stunning? These ones I'm going to keep in the packaging. Usually I take all my pencils out and they're all in my other little zip folders or they're in my wine rack these ones i'm going to keep in here just because they're already you know in these lovely easy to store so they will you know go up on my shelf and you can just grab you know the blues you know your yellow tones and so on i'll show you another one here oh this would be the one i go to a lot there is a swatch here um Again, I've done swatch sheets in the past, but I never use them, so I probably won't bother swatching them. I just always scribble next to, you know, the image that I'm going to colour a little bit before to check it's the right one that I want to use. But Phoenix Colour is the brand. I got these through AliExpress, which is the first time I've ever purchased through AliExpress. They came very quickly and also, <laughs> Lindsay's right, it was well packaged. This is all of the packaging. So I've rolled it up because I'll be using that for... Um, I've got some beautiful new Christmas ornaments this year, so I'll use that to, you know, protect them. And um, it's just handy to have that for anything that I might post. So, but that just gives you a little overview there and inside all of the colours. So you can, you know, obviously use that for a quick reference. But if you want to see more about these, then head over to Lindsay, the Frugal Crafter, her channel, and you'll be able to see her. I think she's done an actual, you know, proper review on them now because I saw her unboxing and that was just kind of a quick little demo. Um, and I went straight over and clicked. It was the thumbnail that I sold me. I said to her, I commented and I said I was drawn in by the thumbnail. Um, but I love my coloured pencils. And I do use them pretty much every day. So I'm really looking forward to trying these ones out. Um, and uh, yeah, seeing what they're like. But isn't it beautiful? What amazing packaging. And the price wasn't too bad. I cannot remember off the top of my head. Um, again, I will put the link in the description box. so You can just click on it and have a look. But I do recommend that you head over and just get a more thorough kind of um, a review on them as such. Because I won't be doing that. You'll just see me using these um you know in due course but i like that they all fit nicely she says i think that one has moved oh it's because it's got the join of the box inside so you have to do it this way instead start from the bottom there we go so now i can just literally put that straight into my shelf 100 colors of china soft coloured pencils and it's got a website there as well but i will like i said share the um the link for you and then i've just got a few other bits which were the order that i mentioned at the beginning that i was hoping would arrive has arrived so i'm just going to edit this in now so i've got the latest paper craft society i'm not going to do show you what's inside this because i do separate unboxings because lots of people like to see a thorough unboxing of these so when i've done that you will have a little drop down which will come up now if it's not showing yet it's because i haven't done it but it will be there. And obviously, if you're subscribed to my channel, you'll see when I do that. I've still got to show the box 23. So this must be 25 because my box was 24. But I've got that one. So I'm looking forward to using that. And then I got totally sucked in on... It was actually on the way up to the Creative Craft Show. I was trying to watch it on the train when Helen went live on Friday, who simply made crafts. And... Um, 
the other bits that are here I'd already had in my basket. They'd just been sitting there. But I saw this and it basically is a Christmas wreath box die set. Now, obviously, I make a lot of my own 3D crafts. I, I don't tend to use too many dies to make gift bags and boxes. However, this one, when you're working with curves and angles, sometimes a die is just better. And this one here, when I saw what she made with it, I was like, I need it. I want it. And I want to make one for Nan. So I'm going to make this as a big wreath gift box for my nan and i'm going to fill it with all of her favorite treats but it would also be lovely for you know all kinds of occasions a lovely wedding gift box you could have it as a you know for a birthday you could have it open you could pop cheese and all sorts in it obviously if you line it but you can have food in this as well this is what it will create is this big circle here and it's a big gift box and I just think it's wonderful. I can't wait to start using it. I only briefly saw a little bit of Helen doing it because my signal wasn't good on the train. But you can see just, you know, one of the kind of segments, I guess. You would cut that four times. And let's have a little look inside. So you can see all the dies there. So, yeah, it's a big... I mean, when Helen was making it, the, the size of it on her, you know, her cutting mat and stuff was, was big. So I'll just take out... So that's one corner... So if you imagine that's there, then here. So yeah, it's it's this size, massive. And it's just going to look so nice under the tree. And my nan is very much, if it's a big gift, she's like, oh, I wonder who's got that big gift. So she'll see this and I know she will say, oh, isn't that beautiful? I wonder who that's for. And then when I give it to her. So yeah, I can't wait. And um, it's a wreath dye. It's never going to date. You know, there's nothing in there that's gonna yeah age or anything so it'll be something I can pull out and use you know for many years to come and I think that will all go through a standard die machine if you've got your need your extender plate or you just have to pass it through one way and then move it and then pass it through again because that's obviously a lot longer than maybe some standard length on the plates that you have but that's no bigger than six inches which I can see there so that should all go through a standard machine and then because I'd had these sitting in my basket, I thought, oh, I'll just get them. Um, I do my handbag series where I'm making handbag gift bags from that book that I've got. And lots of them have texture. And Helen's got these two. She's got some more, but I love these two A4 embossing folders. Let me take them out because there's quite a lot of glare. So I've got this one here, which is the mock crock A4 embossing folder. So you will need a large format die machine for this. And then this one here is the wood grain. But again, I just could see myself using this for even some of the 3D makes again, like the houses and stuff, having that embossed wood grain effect. But it's just going to turn those handbags into more realistic looking handbags. So I'm looking forward to using them. Things like this probably won't be now until the new year, but it's just nice to have all this newness. And then because I'd spent over, I can't remember what the, the offer was. Actually, I didn't even see the offer. But if you spent over so much on that day, you got a free stamp set and you got to choose out of two of them. So I chose this one because I just love the font. So you've just got a special gift for you. You've got all these little ones, festive hugs, memories. You've got Merry, Love from Santa, December. You've got a to and from, which is so funny because I just used a to and from from an older set. But if you couldn't get that and you want a to and from stamp set, I'm not sure if this is available on its own or if it was exclusively as a free gift so I'll, again all the links will be shared in the description box below no peeking like that one and then you've got joyful moments do not open until christmas day happy and merry and then you've got all these numbers here as well so yeah nice little free gift so that is everything so i hope you've enjoyed this what did i get from the nec and more is what i will probably title this one as and just look out for it all being used because you know the acrylic blocks you're going to see regularly most of these stamps you'll probably see, you know, throughout this season of my Christmas makes. I'm going to pop that all with my other Christmas stuff so I'm reminded. And then the other bits you'll just see pop up. But like I said, most of it is Christmas orientated. That's just going to go away for next year. Those are going to get cleaned up. Um, but the glitter, toppers, papers, all the sparkle paper, you know, this fabric paper. Really looking forward to got some lovely fun things to use and my 
yeah my imagination's kind of gone wild at the moment thinking of all the things i want to make so i will link as much of the product that i've got below because things like this you can get from craft label so i'll link those and like your you know your new ink colors there and there's probably still some places selling these stamps i'll definitely look out for these woodware ones and i'll link them below probably one of my favorite things i've brought along with these ones here and the cardio stamps i can't wait to use that along with all those acrylic blocks and this card oh love it as always, thank you for watching and look out for all of the tutorials using this product. If you haven't subscribed and you like today and you're now thinking, I wonder what she's going to make, just click subscribe. And if you hit the notification bell, you'll be notified every time I upload something new. Take care and I'll see you all again. Bye.